All right, so this is all pieces of my saw, but uh, the bearing that I was talking about is similar to this one here. Use bearing, but it um, it's efficient for what I need it for. So I had a plumber's pipe. I don't know, probably like one and a half inches or one and three quarter, whatever. Thick walled, regular black pipe. Um, the bearing would not fit properly in there. It was way too loose. It's still a little bit loose now, but it'll function properly when I finish it out. The way I narrowed this pipe out was by um, cutting a slit with my saw, pinching it down between the vise, and then hammering around the edges to round it out a bit. And then I took a um, clamp, pinched that shut, and recut right on that slit. Uh, I must have done that about five times. And bit by bit, I re uh, retuned the circular shape of it to meet properly on the splice end here. In any case, I was able to do that five times. And, uh, and now when I pinch this shut, this bearing fits snugly in that circumference there. So um, that's how I adjusted um, a pipe to fit my bearing. Um, I did the same thing, and I have that on video, with this here. Pretty much the same idea, how I was able to um, readjust the um, inside diameter of a piece of conduit pipe. As you can see, though, I cut it on two sides rather than one. And uh, there was a lot less work on this than there was on this piece here at this point what I'll have to do is I'll have to um, square the ends off because they're not cut straight before that I will file a groove where the slit is here um, pinch it back together run a weld across it uh, clean that up and then I will cut these surfaces so they're parallel to each other or at a 90 to the length of the pipe this is not going to be fast rotating or anything. It's actually just going to turn a quarter of a turn, the bearing here. But it's a very heavy-duty bearing.